Creating your style and developing your perspective can sometimes be a challenging process. We sometimes spend too much time looking at others' work rather than creating our own. My goal within the last few years has been to continuously go out and explore different parts of the world, or even in my own city. In doing this, I put a lot of emphasis on the type of content I capture and try to further develop my stylistic approach to photography and film. It's in making the right moves and taking the right steps that will help guide any visual artist. Welcome back everyone, I hope you're all doing fantastic. I know this is the video that many, many of you have been waiting for and it's finally here, I'm sorry about the delay. But before we dive in, I just wanna talk about some of the tools I use when I go about creating or editing any of my images. Obviously I use Adobe Lightroom Classic CC to begin and really set up the image. And then I usually do touch up or any minor changes on Photoshop. But one tool that I've been using that has drastically helped me in this editing process is this tool right here. It's called Loop Deck Plus. Loop Deck Plus is the next evolution of custom photo and video editing console. It's built with an intuitive design that takes the ergonomics of photo and video editing into consideration to make editing more intuitive, faster, and more enjoyable. Loop Deck is actually compatible with Adobe Lightroom CC, Skylum Aurora, HDR, and many other upcoming integrations that are expected to happen this year. LoopTech Plus recently made its first venture into video editing with an integration for Adobe Premiere CC. Alright guys, let's jump onto my laptop so I can show you the selects I've made. I'll also discuss LoopTech Plus a lot more while I'm showing you guys the editing process. So the three selects I've made come from three different countries that I recently visited. The first is a street shot from my trip to Lisbon, Portugal. This was a very fun experience. Lisbon was a huge surprise for me. The city is so full of historical architecture and street life. The second photo is from Monza, Italy, during the Formula One race. This was captured at the end of the race once Lewis Hamilton went up to pick up his trophy. Definitely a lot more Ferrari fans showed up that day. The last photo is from Stuttgart, Germany. I went with Mercedes-Benz on an off-roading training experience. It was super fun and energizing, surely something I look forward to doing again. So I selected these three photos because they are each distinct in their environment and look. The photos are from three different times of the day, sunrise, sunset, and midday. But the challenge really comes in trying to make them match through my editing. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to do is I want to show you the images I'm working with. So I'm working with three different types of photos, each from a different location, like I mentioned earlier. So the first is from Portugal, the second photo is from Italy, and the third is from Germany. I'm going to drag and drop those into Lightroom and begin the first part of the editing process. Once those open up in Lightroom, I'm going to go to Develop. So I began putting together a set of presets for my 2018 fall pack and I want to try out one of them for this video. It's called Altitude. I have all my fall presets assigned to the keys up top on the console, P1 through P8. Once I select the Altitude preset, you'll notice that it's a quite dramatic look, which is okay because I want to show you how extreme a preset can be manipulated while still retaining its key features. Now I also have the option to apply the preset or even copy or paste it if I have made any changes to the first set of edits. You'll notice how these presets need tweaking in order to adjust the oversaturation and exposure loss. The faces are very orange and even the trees have too much saturation. Now what I do here is I go in and I tweak each image accordingly. I try to focus on temperature a lot. Temperature is usually where you can control the consistency of photos very easily. And then after that, I try to go into the hues and the main color components of the image so I can desaturate or saturate specific type of colors. Highlights and sharpening are also two other features I try to work with. Because I reduce the clarity in my images and bump up the contrast, I have to be very careful what is in sharpness. So this is a very important step in my editing process. The best thing about using Loop Deck Plus is that I can make very small incremental changes to the image, such as the saturation or the blacks. Very small little increments 
of changes that can make a drastic difference in the image itself and also allow you to really create that consistent style across your photos. So once I'm done those very preliminary steps, I'm gonna go into the saturations of each color. And now this is where the magic happens. A lot of my images have a very moody tone to them. Certain colors are very highlighted. So I try to focus on reds, oranges, and yellows, and I desaturate blue tones and aquas a lot. And you'll notice that here, it's very important for me to focus on intensity of each of those colors because you don't want things to seem unrealistic. Especially when you see the next image and we're working with skin tones, this part becomes very important to the editing process. So for this photo, I'm just going to mess around with the aquas a little bit, change the red hues, and then you can flip between all the different dials. So you have hues, saturations, illuminance. The cool thing about having Loop Deck Plus is that you can actually change those settings very quickly just using the dial system. And here's a before and after image of the photo. You're noticing certain colors are popping, there's darker blacks, there's a lot of contrast, and the image looks a lot more moodier. Now for the second image, this is a lot of people and skin tones here, like I said before, is very important to focus on. So you're going to notice I'm going to be playing around with the saturations and the vibrancies of the image and temperature quite a lot in order to match the original skin tones while still keeping the texture and style of my preset. Here I'm going to play around with the oranges. Now typically whenever you're working with skin tones, usually the lips and other main features of the face have a lot of reds to them, but skin typically is a more of an orange hue, so there I have to be very particular with how much I saturate it or desaturate it. Other things I try to focus on are the exposure and the blacks. I want to, you know, create some sort of vibrancy in the image and uh, transparency but at the same time I still want to retain that dark image look that I try to achieve in all my photos. So I'm going to step back again to saturation because when I looked at the image I noticed that you know the lips of certain people they're still a little desaturated and you need to make sure that you're still seeing those key features on the person's face so the best part about using Loop Tech Plus is that it's very easy for you to go through your images by changing the dials and just really working with each component of the image a lot quicker than going through and using your keypad on your computer. Now for this last image, this was a shot from Germany and this was a time during fall and I wanted to create an image that highlighted the car but also highlights the colors of the trees. But because my preset is very intense, I have to make sure I go back and really work with it to highlight enough components of the image without taking away the car and the look of the image itself. So whenever I'm editing, I notice that this is a very useful tool is that you can actually reset any of the dials by just clicking on them. So in exposure, for example, if I overexpose, just press on it and I can reset the image back to its normal exposure. Now the best thing about using Loop Tech Plus is that everything is right in front of me and very accessible, especially if I want to level out the image or adjust it in any manner, especially when cropping and whatnot. And because it has custom dials, you can change any of those dials to really work with the way you want. These are like cheat codes essentially for editing. I mean, who doesn't want to be able to edit their image the best way, the easiest way possible? So here's a before and after image. You'll notice that the reds have changed a lot. I decide to go with a more yellow tone. I think that matches the first image a lot because you get that yellow and orangey look in the window there. And then in the people as well with the skin tones, it kind of has that consistent look. Now with the second image, there's a lot of red because we were at a Formula One race. And when you're at a Formula One race in Monza in Italy, everyone for the most part is a Ferrari fan and Ferrari's color is red. So that was very particular, but it's okay. I think having extra colors in your images is always great because you can always create a consistency even when there isn't a consistent color theme. And that's the art of editing. It's about really breaking down your image and working with each detail that it has and finding ways to allow that detail to run through other images. Another cool thing about Loop Deck Plus is that I can actually export the images right from my console. So I'm gonna go ahead and export the images. 
three very different images but very consistent in the way they've been edited with key focus on certain hues, certain colors. In order to create that consistency, like I said, you have to really work with the temperature and always try to match the contrast, the shadows and the blacks as much as you can in the highlights. Those are ways that you can create a very smooth look across your feed if you're trying to create a consistent style for your social blogs and whatnot. Take these tips and see if they work for you. So there you have it guys, that's typically the process I take in editing any of my images. And like I said in the beginning, editing is a very meticulous process so you really have to take your time with it and find the right tools that will help simplify the process for you. LoopTech Plus has really changed the way I look at editing. It allows me to look at those minor details to really help create a consistent style across my images. Even when my photos are from different locations and shot during different times of the day. I'm going to leave the product information in the description below. Be sure to check it out. I really highly recommend this product. It's absolutely incredible. The design is there and the actual value is there as well for beginner photographers and for professionals who just want to save time in editing. And you guys probably noticed while I was editing, I have a couple new presets. I'm going to put a preset pack together for my next video. But always remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next week. Peace!